Here we go with Tuesday evening's edition of Weather for Weather Geeks for October the, what's today, the 20th? Heading into the final third of October, and so far this month has been a little cooler than average. Only a little, though, uh, by a, a small margin. Today was certainly above average. We got to 70 today, so beautiful day today. On the map this evening at about 8.10 p.m., we have a clear to partly cloudy sky with a nice sunset this evening. Be sure and check out a couple of the pictures I posted on Instagram. If you are on Instagram on your uh, on your smartphone, you can find me there, Eric WFMJ, all one word. Uh, nice sunset this evening. Now, we do have some showers off to the north, and these kind of look like they're trying to drift southeast, but they're only going to get so far, and then they're going to kind of run into a brick wall of dry air, and this front is actually going to start moving back north as a warm front overnight. So I do think overnight we, we start to see some cloudiness pushing in. Uh, it'll end up being a partly to mostly cloudy night late tonight, but otherwise uh, we're in pretty good shape for the night tonight. That's a pretty impressive cluster of showers and storms out in parts of Illinois this evening. Let me take off the satellite. This cluster, uh, not much of a concern for us. We are going to be dry until Thursday, it looks like, maybe late Wednesday night. Let me show you the latest North American model here, the NAM, if you will, NAM. Uh, I'll show you uh, t uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, not much going on locally. Here's our cold front out here tomorrow evening, like that. So when does it start to impact us? Well, the modeling would have you believe that uh, th this is a late Wednesday night into Thursday type of a deal. Here's uh, 5 in the morning, Thursday morning, some showers trying to push into northeast Ohio. By midday, they're pushing into our region. I think this is, uh, you know, a few scattered showers around a tenth, maybe two tenths of an inch worth of rain. That should about do it. Uh, as we go towards the evening on Thursday, they're going to try to shift off to the south and east. So we're probably in the clear by about sunset uh, on Thursday. And then uh, by Friday, high pressure is going to build in from the north. That high centered up here, just north of the Great Lakes. Will give us a cool but uh, generally sunny Friday. It could be some fog at the start of the day. But otherwise, should be a nice looking Friday. Just a crisp fall day. Definitely a night to bundle up if you're heading off to high school football Friday evening. Then as we head into the weekend, uh, that high is going to shift east. And here's a look at Saturday. By midday, some showers trying to push into the western half of Ohio. That's a pretty strong area of low pressure up uh, north of Lake Superior, dragging a cold front east. I think if you want to rake leaves or do anything outdoors Saturday, morning's fine, probably even early afternoon's fine. But as we get into the late afternoon, we're going to start to be, you know, under the gun for a little bit of rain. And I, I mean a little bit. This isn't going to be much. But scattered showers here and there, shown here on the GFS model Saturday evening. Here's Saturday night. Probably the best chance overall of getting wet for the weekend will be overnight, Saturday night. And by Sunday morning... Uh, we're seeing the showers lining up from roughly Route 30 on south at the start of the day, and then we should dry things out by Sunday afternoon. Here's a look at Sunday afternoon. So, uh, you know, uh, Sunday can start damp, but we should be in pretty good shape later on. I'll show you the upper level pattern briefly for next week, uh, because uh, it's going to start to evolve into kind of a ridge in the west, trough in the east kind of a pattern as we go through time. Here's a uh, Oh, this would be uh, t uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. Notice the the overall flow is kind of flat, but as we go towards the end of next week, closer to Halloween, you start to get a ridge bulging up out here and a trough digging into the Great Lakes and into the Ohio Valley. So I do think the last handful of days of October are likely to be kind of chilly as some Canadian air gets drawn down into this trough. All the warmth will be out here across the... Uh, across the Rocky Mountain states. It's actually interesting, this pattern change is partly the result of a typhoon recurving. You know, it's interesting to, to look out here. A typhoon out here right now starting to curve back like this, and then that kind of disrupts the whole chain of events in the northern Pacific, and that has implications down the line for us. A lot of times when a typhoon recurves near eastern Asia, six to ten days later it turns cool in the east. It's amazing to look at these what we call teleconnections, how the weather all the way over here relates to what's going on in the Far East. It's it's always interesting to see how that evolves. So anyway, cool end to next week. It looks like an overall the 7 to 14 day outlook here on the GFS Ensemble uh, shows that the end of October and maybe the first couple of days of November will average a little bit on the chilly side with most of the warmth out west. How does this manifest itself out in the numbers? Don't take too much stock in the exact numbers here. They're likely to be wrong, especially in the longer range. But we can look at the trends. Uh, here's the end of the week, cool down on Friday, weekend starts a little milder, and then next week, 
uh, you know, at the end of October, this isn't much to write home about. You know, average highs next week are in the upper 50s. Uh, but we could have a handful of days where we're below that by some margin uh, as we go towards Halloween and into early November. So, you know, this is typical stuff for this time of the year. Some ups, some downs. Uh, eventually, winter's going to win more and more battles, but for the time being, fall and even summer trying to fight back. We'll be close to 70 again tomorrow afternoon. So enjoy tomorrow. And thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday night. I'll see you tonight on the TV side on 21 News at 11 o'clock. Early risers, you can check out Justice Forecast tomorrow morning. She is back on WFMJ today starting bright and early at 5. Have a great night.